I've about had my enough. Welcome back to Shot Family Farm. We're out running the dogs right now and the whole family is out today. Let's see, where are you at? There's Caroline and Eliza's over there. And then everybody else is out too. So we're gonna all, everybody's gonna go to the barn this morning. We're gonna check for lambs because like I said in the last video, if you didn't see that one, you can go watch that right there. And I told you that the lambs are super close, the sheep are super close to lambing. So we're going to check for lambs and they could really have them anytime. So I'm super excited about that. We're going to go over, get the barn chores done and then proceed with what we can do today. All right, so we're over at the barn now and I checked the sheep. There's no lambs yet, but they are definitely getting close or at least one of them is. But now we're going to feed hay and uh, Izella's behind me, so she might talk a little bit. So you want to say hi, Zell? Hello. Um... There's a ghost skunk. Yeah, uh huh. All right, let's get busy. Somewhere now. <laughs> She's got yours. Yeah. Uh, we're back from the barn now and we are going to be picking rocks up out of these fields here. This field behind me and then the field across the pond drive too. They're really small fields so it doesn't take much. So we just go through with the loader tractor and some people and we pick the rocks up. And here's the crew. We got Eliza and Caroline and Lemuel. And then Emma's going to be helping too. So we are going to get busy doing that and uh, you guys can watch. All right, we're finished. Uh, that was some hard work. Uh, most of those are, or a lot of them are big concrete chunks from old buildings that used to be here, so it took a lot to get them up. You can go, uh, but that is a good load of rock, and this field is a lot cleaner now, and it's not gonna break uh, the planter or anything, so. That is a good job to have done. Everyone did good, the little ones helped, and Jocelyn helped, and everything went pretty good. All right, it is a little while later now. It is almost 12 o'clock, and we are playing on the seesaw. And we're waiting for the mail to run because the mail is supposed to be bringing a starter for a truck that we're working on. Um, it, it's a Ranger, and uh, we originally thought that it was the neutral safety si switch that was the problem so we tried and re we replaced that but that didn't fix it it won't start uh the batteries are good on it and everything so we think the starter's bad because we actually we took the starter off and then we did a test on it and it's bad so we have a new one ordered and it's supposed to get here today so as soon as that gets here we're going to go up to the lean-to and put that on and hopefully we can get that truck up and running again okay there it is now we just got to get it put on That's the way they work. Millimeter on that quarter inch socket. I'll see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Get one fixed and immediately bring in the next. All right, let me just jump into the video real quick to kind of explain what's going on because I never really explained, explained it in the video. So what happened with the plow truck was back on like our last good snow, uh, the four wheel drive went out. The front tires were not pulling. Uh, so what daddy said, I don't know if you could hear uh, what he said in that video clip, but he said that the knuckle that drove the front tires for four wheel drive had gone bad. So the front tires were not pulling at all. And you need the front all tires to be pulling uh, in four-wheel drive, especially in deep snow on a plow truck when it's going to be pushing snow. So the plow truck was not really any good after that because it could get stuck super, super easily. But we will have to get that part ordered. So you're not going to see any more of the plow truck until the next video when that part gets here and we can work on putting it on. So after now that I've explained that, back to the video. too it's not the powdery stuff so uh, that's sad okay we're in the truck now I really thought we were finished with snow for the year I hoped we were it's the middle of March now and I am tired of winter and just it's this snow is wet and heavy and thick and it's miserable and it's windy and it's cold and I'm tired of winter and I'm sorry if you like snow but I do not and I'm tired of winter. If I had, if okay, if we could have snow for the week of Christmas, enough to have a white Christmas and then go sliding a little bit afterwards, that would be fine with me and then no snow for the rest of the year. That'd be perfectly fine. <laughs> it was staring at me. Anyways, in case you couldn't tell, I'm not a huge fan of winter. Hashtag we hate snow. <laughs> we had a bunch of negative 20 degrees with a few feet of snow on the ground, so I've about had mine off. All right, we're back from the barn now. We're just going to head in. Uh, we were thinking last week that we might ho actually haul some soybeans. This week, but, and so we were seeing what the snow was going to look like. The roads are not good at all. This snow is just a bunch of mush and the roads are slushy and they're a mess. So uh, we're not hauling soybeans. So we're just gonna hang out inside until the conditions outside get a little bit better and we have something to do. That's looking a little better, so. Uh, it is later on. It's actually the next day from the footage that you saw and it's been melting uh, quite a bit today. Nice. 